Did that even tweet out? No, it didn't, but it looks it. Um, right. Yeah, let's see if this is working now. My mic seemed really quiet, I don't know why. Um Hmm. I don't know if it's loud on your end or not. Okay. I mean I should probably be about there. There we go. Let's see if this works then. Right, where are we? Ah, we're in Westminster. Okay, let's pick up this viewpoint once we're here then. still finishing off. I've got most of the stuff there. I'm missing two glitches there. Okay. Mm London should be pretty much done. Whitechapel's pretty much done. Here isn't chest map for here. Uh, just need to be zoomed in a little more. Okay. Well, we're over here, so we may as well start. There. Oh, wait. I think I missed one, actually. Yeah, it's all done. Let's go investigate!
train. Just skip across here. Looks like we're going to have to go through the park. Yeah. Get wrecked. Pick up these over here. Come on, come on. Alright. So we want to go over here. That's enough! I'm coming over! I need to boat hop to get over here by what's it? Let's wait for this boat to come along. Hey, what's up? Why are you using my real name? That's weird. Which always likes to buffer. What do you expect? It's Twitch. Yeah, 
must have got it. Um, that's the next one in that area. Thames will probably make you very ill. It's pretty disgusting, especially in these times. But hey, video games. chest. There we go. We're just trying to clear out this area. Cleared out most of the rest, so... Yeah, I thought you would. Jesus Christ, I could not have gone closer to that boat. It's a nice soundtrack, actually. Very nice soundtrack. Yeah, it's that sort of thing. But you're like jumping onto the vehicles instead of trying to avoid them. Hey, Jolly. How are we doing? I just went into a door. It's weird though, because some are like parked in the middle of nowhere, and then you've got all the sort of shipping lanes as well. Uh, I'm doing alright. I'm a little croaky. But other than that, I'm alright. Figured I'd stream this, because I, I wanted to play it anyway, so I thought I'll see if I can get it set up just to stream, and then I streamed it. And now we're here. So. Good story, yeah. I'm good at telling stories. Yeah. There we go. Well, 
have we got around here? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's not bad. Um, it's there's there's a little tiny bugs, but that's just like stuff that happens in like it would happen in any game, like when AI goes wrong every now and then and just continually walks into a wall or something. But I've only encountered that like once or twice in playing for about 60 hours, so <laughs> yeah. Um, this I believe this one was made by the team that made Black Flag because they take it in turns. Um, there's also a few references to Black Flag and you do go to Edward Kenway's mansion in London so that's kinda cool um, but yeah it's it's a little weird because it's it's the sort of thing where it's like You can tell it wasn't written by British people in a way. Because a lot of the things that are said, it's like, yeah, even for the old times that wouldn't have been said in that in that context. But they just needed something that sounded really like Cockney. So and uh, yeah, there's like two rival well, it was two gangs. There was originally one gang. And then you set up a gang to come to take down the other gang, essentially. But it's not real. It's it's weird because it's not really about gangs. Um, Jacob's side of the story, who I'm playing as now, is sort of about the gangs and is all about being aggressive and you know, take like not sneaking in and just hitting them full on barging down the door and killing everyone kind of thing. And then you got Evie's story who's more the actual assassin and likes to be stealth and she's interested in all the precursor stuff that's related to like every AC so it's very interesting and you can like switch them on the fly as well like if I was on ground now and just going to here hit R3 and now I'm putting as Evie. So it's very strange. But yeah. I prefer to play as Jake, but he's, he, I don't know why he just seems faster when he's running. Probably isn't. But hey. PC version. I'm not sure actually. It's December. Or maybe. Maybe it was January. But hopefully it'll be taking long on it. Yeah, they do. Um, they put it in like brackets next to it. Especially in cutscenes and it's it's like, yeah, you, even if you didn't know Cockney you could tell what that meant. But I feel like we need to do it for, you know, the silly Americans. I don't know, like... This sort of cockney is, like, really obvious. It's not, like, the whole rhyme and sign sort of cockney. And even that's, like... Y you pick it up after a while. Cockney, they just like... They just take two words and combine them. Is pretty much most Cockney. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, English as a whole is weird. Like... The fact that 
really, like, if you live in England, you don't get taught English. You get taught about, like, poems and, you know, like, the structure of language. Whereas, you don't really get taught how to speak English because you're expected to know it. Which was derping with sounds? Oh, like its audio encoder was being weird. I was watching Bob Ross before and it sounded weird, but you know, I just thought that was me. He did. And hey, crush anyway. One thing that is really cool on this that I might show you in a bit is the sort of secret area. It's not super secret. It's pretty cool. It's not really a secret area at all, really, but like, until you get so far, you don't unlock it. So, a lot of people don't know about it that have done like review copies or something. I actually head that way in a bit. Yeah. Let's go see what's over here. And everyone been uh, watching Bob Ross then? Been working in there a few times. Just nice to have on in the background. It's really, it's really weird. Here we go. We are in World War One London. Yeah, Bob Ross, the painter. Go to the creative uh, directory on Twitch and watch Bob Ross with like 70,000 people. So yeah, we are Lydia Fry, which I believe is Evie's daughter. I may be wrong. It's it is seriously perfect to just have on in the background. And the interesting thing about Widya is that she starts with like every single skill unlocked. Well not every single skill, but most skills. Is it in a few days, is it? I haven't actually seen the PC release date. But I'm gonna get it for PC as well probably. Uh, but I can buy the standard edition for PC, so that's alright. I was originally going to get it for PC, and then I was like, if it's shit like Uni, then PC is going to be extra shit. So I thought, I'll just get it on PC, uh, on PS4, and be safe. But it turns out it's a brilliant game, so hopefully... Hopefully it... Um, ports well to PC, but we have a pretty dedicated team on it I believe. No, it's it's made by the same people who made Black Flag, not by the Unity team. They take it in turns every two years and you can tell it's not like Unity because I've been playing for like what, half an hour and you haven't seen the bug. All people's faces melting. And the scripting is a lot better as well, like... If any of you played Unity, I don't know 
if it was just me, but the pacing between sequences um, seemed like weird. Like you, you'd only really have three memories in a sequence, and there'd just be like loads of sequences. It, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But with like with sequences on AC, I feel they work better when you only change sequence when you're changing your target, like your main target. And um, the AC2 seemed to be paced well in all of them. And then Black Flag was a little weird because it was like it was like ultra o open world, so we didn't really have a choice in being a bit sort of flexible, let's say, with um, with how they handled that. But no, it's it's really good. Like the first time you play it, it feels weird. Um, because y you know they're just trying to get like the obvious cockney jokes out <laughs> whilst they can but then it, it does serious up after a while where am I diving into? I, was, I didn't see I thought I was going to dive into the sea it's just so cool having a World War 1 AC and I hope I really hope that they actually make a full game out of this um, well they did AC Road, didn't they? It kind of went under the radar though, because it was released on the last gen, at the same time as Unity released. And that was in Black Flag's environment. Um, just like a few years later or something. Or really, I can't remember. It's been a while since I played that. But... I I actually love like AC World War One or World War Two. Where am I going? It's like this one you meet like Winston Churchill, <laughs> which is pretty funny. And then he's just chilling. But he it's weird because he like knows who you are and you work together taking down like German spies it's it's a strange one it's a really good game though really good Travel to the tower. I don't know. It's something in the gauntlet. Like, I don't know. It kind of like retracts, but it doesn't because you're still on it and it's still behind you. But I think the best thing is just to not think about it. It makes sense going down, but going up is a bit weird. But like going up vertically it retracts. But vertically between buildings. I have no idea. Um Some of the houses are a bit like open, but it's not like was it Unity where like every house you could get into sort of thing? Because that that's kinda of what ruined the engine. It was just trying to do too much at once. Um, so like, you can get into some buildings, but it's mostly the only buildings you can really get into are ones that have got collectibles or ones that are story related, but I don't know, I don't really like going inside buildings anyway, I don't see the point, but it's like because this is story related you can see we can get into it there. So. Yeah, pretty much. Please repeat the 
hope you like my new office, Miss Fry. As you can see, my informants have found some promising leads. Evidence of spy activity has huge. surfaced around the field hospital, St. Catherine's Docks, and the Tower of London. I needn't remind you how crucial it is that we put a stop to these infiltrators. I haven't actually done a lot of the World War One stuff, I just like coming there every now and then. <laughs> Okie doke, it's no worries. Thanks for stopping by. Right, where are we? Okay, let's... Let's do these. I don't know what you're actually doing here. Well, I do, but I'm not gonna spoil that bit. I just mean like mission-wise, I'm not sure what you're actually supposed to do. I think... I think I liked like all the well I liked a lot of the the stuff where you went to modern day. Can I shoot that? Is that gonna blow up if I shoot that? Apparently not. Oh. Yeah, it was the second to last one with uh, Desmond. I gotta admit I hated Desmond and, well I hated everyone in in three because they used the new engine and therefore they couldn't use the old models. So they all looked really like tall and skinny. And so weird. I only get out with it. Escape. Oh, bug it. <laughs> I just went into the place I was trying to escape from. Um, but yeah, like the modern day stuff, um, it was really good. Ouch. The problem with it was that, especially in like one, you were just pulled out the animus every like five minutes to do more modern day stuff. I think the worst one for modern day stuff was Black Flag because it was first person and it just felt so wrong. I just think this game works pretty beautiful. Considering this is only running at 900p on the consoles at 30 FPS, it still looks good. Um, it's not really explained. There isn't much modern day stuff anyway, and you're not in the Animus, you're in the Helix. So I'm not sure what that is and why that's any different, but I don't understand what the guy's doing. He's just walking at a wall in the corner. Um, I still get your point, it wouldn't make sense, but they are twins, so then it would make sense, I believe. 
they're identical twins. Well, not identical, identical. But you know what I mean. So the DNA structure would be the same. I don't know. It's been a long time since I went to school, so. Hey. I don't think it's it's that sort of DNA um I don't think it's like the animus where they needed like direct bloodlines. Um I believe this DNA is stored in data banks. Um like in AC three Wait no, in AC4, after the end of AC3, they extracted Desmond's DNA, basically. And AC4 is based on accessing Desmond's DNA. Using sample 17 rather than subject 17. Because it's his DNA sample. So I believe it's similar to that, it's not like genetic, uh, direct bloodline things. So I believe they're just both stored somewhere. I don't know. Um, how much money do I have? I need to upgrade my stuff. Gang upgrades. Okay, that's 16 grand. But I need one more gang upgrade and a few more skill upgrades. Shall we just go do a, a main mission or something? Seems to be that one. I don't know. I don't really understand how it works, but I just know it works. But I don't want to spoil too much, but there's a little snippets in this where you go to modern day stuff and you see some familiar faces. I don't know if you're going to see that or not in this stream, but hey. The one thing I will say about this is loading times are a ball like. But hey. Well. I haven't had the ending spoiled, so, you know, if you can be a love, please don't spoil it. This has been the first AC game in a little while that I've been really interested in. I mean, the story's not enticed me as much as, like, revelations and stuff like that. That happens a few times. If you have a, a marker set and then you fast travel, 
it gets rid of your market. But that's just a little annoyance. I'm not sure if that's a bug or you know a feature. And there's there's a little bit of popping with like you get closer to some models and then they change. They change what they look like because they've realised there's like six other models in the same area. But I don't know. Unless you're like going around running around every single street you don't really notice. And you know they're bound to like reuse assets for people so I won't worry about it. Right, I haven't seen this now, so I'm gonna shush it a little. Well, what say you? You're not gonna like it. No, see here. I am graced with the Abilene family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <laughs> <laughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? <laughs> He's like a uh, police chief person. That's why he was so like the bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. And oh yes. One man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to seal it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupini well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupini is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. <laughs> the last time he was in disguise, he was dressed Deep up as a be leaving that vault. So, right. So this is like a the set up like heists in GTA. If you've never seen these before, um, so we have a few things we can do. Obviously, our main objective is to reach the vault. These are our entry points for the building. And then we've got, I can't get that, but that's assassination opportunity, um, the assistance, and then there's, there was something else. Yeah, that's what friends are for, but it's mostly with stuff like TV shows and they just spoil it for you, because they're, they're like, the people that sit at home all day watching Netflix and watching like series after series and then you're the one that goes to work or something. That's what happens with me anyway. Right, so I have like mega ultra eagle vision because I upgraded it to the max. So I can see like pretty far and I can see through walls. So that's the head of security, so we need to kidnap him and do something with him. So it looks like there's an entry point into this one here. So I'm going to go into sneak mode. It's really cool because he takes his top off and he just pops it in his pocket. No, I... Um, you've got upgrades for Eagle Vision here, so that's... That's like the first one. Um, you can like tag enemies 
and once they're tagged you can see them through walls which makes sense this one lets you actually see them and tag them through walls and then this one just goes like three miles no i never understood it it's just a thing in it it's one of those things it looks like he's on his own in here there's a uh, are they going to aggro to me if I do anything to him though? Because they're police, basically. Oh shit. There's anyone in there? Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I can't kidnap him because I was detected. Ow. Right, we need to we need to leave now. We'll come back in a bit. Yeah, it was somehow like assassins were thought to have like eagle genes in their DNA or something <laughs> and that's why it got its, the name of Eagle Vision that was from like AC1 and then they're like right we've got to take this further because it's like the main concept of the game and it's like what what establishes the stealth aspect of it so see I don't want to kill these guards but I might have to I'm going to stick throwing knives on just in case. There's a little cupboard down there we can hide in. But these are like more alert now because they know I've been here. Right, Where is Tupany? Please! I have a family! He's in the vault, ogling his priceless paintings. How am I going to get through there? Do I have to take him that way? Or can I just free him? What happens then? Someone get him! Then he just tries to kill me. That's a strange one. <laughs> because Bob Ross is the best. And he turns you into a happy little tree. Oh, fancy. Fitting for two pennies, too. Alright, so. Who's that? So that's the bank manager. So we need to kidnap the bank manager in front of all these guards. Okay. Um, and then there's that guy over there. But we need to open the thing. Ah, oh, so good to see. This you is the hardest one I've done. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Thank goodness you're here. My bank's Irish interests are being damaged by those damn Fenians. Now, now, I'll take you in, and you'll see everything is perfectly secure. Maybe sneak in behind these. But it looks like they're all facing the vault now. Oh no, that guy on the left's facing the vault. But he's not gonna open it to that guy, which he should be doing, shouldn't he? Oh, 
I'll assist you. What would you have me do? I rather fancy a private tour of the vault. R right this way, sir. The records are stored in here. I was hoping they wouldn't notice me. Right, this one is like really hard. All the rest have been pretty easy. All the guards are literally there where I need to go. I mean, I could kill them, but I don't want to. Yeah, still highly aggro on me. Oh, I should have gone in the cupboard. Why didn't I go in the cupboard? No one come this way, please. If I can lose these guys, then I'll be alright. Oh, never mind. The guys just walked away. You have no business here. Move along. I really don't know how to do this. Can you please sod off? As soon as I stand up, one of them is going to detect me, either that guy there or this guy here. So... Just shank that guy in the face. He should come to investigate. Distractions, but not really. Like they'll go in and investigate, but so will my target. Is that going to do anything? Because now there's no one to open the vault door. So surely I don't need to open the vault door. Why you need to put half for that? I don't know. Right now, kidnapped him for whatever reason. Still says this unique kill available. Okay, I need to hide that body from earlier. Just hide downstairs. Okay. Right, where are we going then? I'd say this way. Yeah, you can throw like um, bombs and stuff, but you don't really have a distraction bomb. That one's like an electric bomb, that one's a smoke bomb. And then you can whistle. None of them really help in this situation. There's a lot of people around here. How the hell do I get on there? Damn your clumsiness! Won't happen again. Master. Oh, crud! Oh, crud! I wasn't paying attention, and now we're all over here. <laughs> I 
I want a unique kill, but I have no idea how to get there. Without, you know, getting seen by everyone in the world. No, can you get through here? No. It's like right beneath our room, so you would have thought... Throwing a bomb over that way and see if we go investigate. There ain't no one to investigate that. That one did something. That went a little too far. See anywhere to hide? I've got it. Ready to fire. I found you. So this is find a secret passage. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna find it. It's that secret. I'm actually going to stand behind Peyton until he comes through. Oh my god. You've stolen your last shilling from the people of London. London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing this was always would be built well. or improved. Nothing would rise they above the muck to say without that. our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as they're worth. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. It's got a point. <laughs> For the path of the dead. Not bad, could have been better. I would have liked to do like full stealth, but I wanted to get through it. I'll go back and do it more at some point anyway. Oh, this is a lift I've got to get out of myself. So, where's that? Couldn't I have just got in there in the first place. Apart from the fact there's like 20 people outside. I mean, should be able to kill him and not be seen. Oh, 
Or if you can throw rocks, I haven't seen any way to do so, so. Murder! Murder! Thank goodness the police were saved! <laughs> Arrest them all oh. for robbing the people oh. of England. <laughs> the Bank of England is closed until further notice. I don't get any bonuses, but oh well. What time is it? Okay. The currency, a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, Tupany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffoon Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! <clears throat> the poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your balls, I'd wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other when we can have it all? What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again. Understood? You may see yourself out. <laughs> A letter. For me? This is the only annoying thing. Every time you return back to the train, once you've unlocked sequence eight, you keep on getting the thing about the letter. But I don't want to open the letter until sequence eight. I'm around like sequence six now, so sequence seven, sorry. Sequence eight unlocks when you get so many of the um, territories of London. So. So we'll start Dear Mr. Them. Starrick, men hired. Strike tomorrow. Disraeli's death will stall Corrupt Practices Act indefinitely. Gladstone will be far more pliable. May the father, etc., etc., be. So Starrick's got his finger in politics, has he? I need to enter the Sinopian Club and find out who B is. Tread delicately around Parliament. As if I don't usually. Your indiscretion at the Bank of England caused British currency to nearly collapse. <laughs> nearly is the operative word. Speaking of collapses, what of the key you found that unlocks very little? Henry took it for research. I am confident that the vault is ours. Nearly ours, Evie. Nearly. <laughs> A letter. For me? See, every time you're like in the train, it comes up with that. It's so annoying. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave this one here. Um, I'm just going to check out the outfits actually. See what I unlocked. And stuff. Okay, so we've unlocked that, but can't use it yet. Uh, can't use that yet. Can't use any new guns, a new belt. Is about the same as mine. Uh, outfits. So I can wear that, but I don't use the um, thing, the cookly, or whatever you call it. That would be nice. How much is it to craft that? 
Okay, let's craft that. Waste all our money. There we go. Nice. Anyway guys, like I said, I'm going to leave this one here. So, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, as always, take care.